Now, aren't we? Lovely fish. What a booty. Absolutely. Yeah, baby. Lovely job. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, everyone. How you doing? So, welcome to South Washington Broad. That's where we are today. I'm going to put two feeder rods out, one long distance, one close in. And fingers crossed, we're going to get a few fish. I did get end a pot of heim to start with, but that near enough blew my head off. Absolutely gale force wind, whereas up here we're sort of in the corner a bit, so the wind's going across the board, but not really getting me so much. Got both rods out already, had a couple of bites, no fish yet. So let's get some feed going, and fingers crossed we'll get a few fish. Yeah! Fish on everybody, fish on. That didn't take too long, did it? Mr. Bream, I'm like, yeah, nice and slimy. <laughs> One thing I haven't got is a towel with me. That's not good. <laughs> oh, slack line. Fish on. Lovely job. Way, good one. Oh, nice. Yeah. Bear with me a sec. Just gotta unhook this one. Different species already. That's pretty cool. God, oh, we're not doing well with these fish, I'm not. We? They want to jump straight out of my hands all the time. Second species, everyone. Mr. Perch, lovely jumpy. Get him back in. See what else is out there for us. Well, that's not a bad start, is it? Skimmer and a okay sized perch for the first couple of casts. Not bad. It's a lovely evening, yeah? Can't believe I'm actually managed to get out of the wind. Everywhere else, the wind's absolutely crazy. But I've managed to get into this corner. And I'm sheltered away, which is awesome. You can hear me speak and everything like that. <laughs> so I've got the, the small closer in rod out in that area, about 20 yards out. Sort of level with that boy down there. And then I've got the, the longer rod here. I was fishing that quite a long way out, but nothing seemed to be happening. So I've gone just the other side of that boat there. I'm going to try a bit closer in. A little bit of a sunset in the background there, but nothing too exciting tonight, which is a shame. But can't complain, it's still a nice place to sit. So, the baits we got today are a waterside ground bait, one of my different mixes, some nice worms, a tin of sweet corn. Some riggedy, riggedy maglets. <laughs> Should be enough to keep us going for a bit. Hopefully we'll find a few fish with them. Fish on everyone, fish on. Feels like a very nice fish as well. 
Just lost the skimmer on the way in on the other rod as well. But this ain't the skimmer by the feel of it. Oh yeah, nice. Need the net, hopefully you can see that. It's a nice bream, very nice bream. Wild everyone. It's going good already. This poor fish has got a lot of sores on one side, but I'll show you the other side to start with. Good sized fish. Oh, lovely fish. Look at that. <laughs> lovely. It performs on that side, doesn't it? But when I show you the other side, you'll see us all in the tank for an otter or something like that quite recently. Look at this poor thing. Oh, that's nasty. Poor fish. Let's get it back quickly, shall we? Poor fishy. Uh, slimy. <laughs> it's a pain that I'm the tail, but I can just about reach the water. So I'm getting to wash my hands. <laughs> Let's see if we can find some more. Lovely enjoyable evening sitting here watching these rod tips. Not taking too long to get a bite. Had a couple of knocks on the longer tip rod. It's gone a bit dull here. It's not getting dark yet, it's just bright clouds going across. I've got the umbrella all set up behind me just in case. Keep the old film and get dry. I wouldn't say it was hectic, but we're we're getting some bites. And we've had that lovely fish already, and a couple of others as well. So not too bad. It's a nice place just to be sitting, to be fair. But fish are definitely a bonus. Oh, it's tapping away, it's just not quite going.
The sky is going crazy over there on that sunset. Look at that. Lovely. We're getting a few spits of rain, but nothing to worry about. With that sky. Thought that was worth putting that on and watching that. I'll turn to the side as well so you can see if we get a bite at the same time. But that's pretty nice, isn't it? <laughs> Bites have gone a little bit quiet over the last half an hour. And the skies are getting better and better every minute or so. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Not so much more than that when you're sitting here fishing in a nice evening like this. Tiny bit of wind going across the broad, but nothing to talk about. And lovely skies like that. It's quite crazy. What I'll do is I'll give you a proper pan around because. That's lighting up all different, all different areas. Just a little tiddler, everyone. Bream on, everybody. There you go, everybody. <laughs> That's a nice brain. It's not very fast. That boat over there is called Herbie. It's pretty quiet on here now. There's a couple of boats out there. Sun's gone down. Tiny bit left this side. That was some really nice skies tonight though. There's a boat out there. Dropped us anchor. And then you've got all the sailing boats down the other end there. So I'm still getting the odd bite, but not too many now it's sort of starting to get dark. That seemed to quieten down a little bit. But I've moved the rods down and tried a couple of other spots just in case and we'll see how it goes. Well I just had a go on maggots and I can basically get a rod or a roach pretty much within 30 seconds but we're not really after them tonight so I'll switch back to the big baits and just sort of sitting on the big baits and trying to get the bigger fish so that's what I'm doing at the moment. It's now starting to get dark only plan really to fish till dark but I have got a light with me so we'll have a little bit longer to see how we get on ever so peaceful and quiet around there and no one about apart from the other people out on their boats out in the middle there so oh, it's gone lovely on me it started raining on me but we're still getting fish 
There's the skimmer. It's getting pretty dark now. We've got a little bit of light here, so we'll have a couple more casts in the dark. See how it goes. So the wind's picked up a bit, and the boats out on the islands and stuff, as you can see, have put all their lights and that on now. So they can obviously see what they're doing. And that's pretty much pitch black for me. We can have a few casts after dark and just see if the bites carry on or see if the fish change species and stuff like that. Well, it's gone pretty quiet since it's got dark. Moved the rods around, tried different baits, but don't seem to be doing too much. It's put the fish completely off. Wind's picked up a bit now, stopped raining. It's quite windy now. Nothing that's making it unfishable or nothing like that. find another bite. Hey. I can hold it. <laughs> there we go, Mr. Bream. That'll be jambly. Oh, that's sort of the best I can show at the moment because I weren't planning on night fishing, but I thought it would go in the dark and we found a couple. Nice, let's get it back. Oh, I'll have a few more casts and See what else we can find. So we got another one. We it's driving me mad tonight. I do not want to be held. There you can see it, Mr. Bream. I'll be jealous. Looks like I've found where the fish are hiding them. Sorry about the lightning, but that's all I've got with me tonight. I'm getting a few bites again now. I'm missing quite a few on the small rod for some reason. I'm trying to work that one out. But the big rods seem to be getting a few bites and we seem to be bringing them ones in, so pretty cool. It's now 20 past 11, so it's getting later. Obviously pitch black as you can see, but we're still getting a few bites, so let's carry on. Another fish, everyone. Looks like we're starting to find a few. Shame I can't get you the light properly, but so the light is, sorry. <laughs> the tiny for everyone, you can't see how big the fish is, can you? Can you get the idea? Nice. Nice to still be finding the food, but really hard work to film them and sort of show you them because there's the light there I've got. So I'm doing my best, and after this session, I've got a load of new filming gear coming, so we'll have massive big lights, like floodlights in a football <laughs> stadium. So we'll be all good from now. So we've got another one. It's the bream. Lovely jubbly. Ooh. So it's still coming in. I had to have reset up my small rod a minute ago. Because I think an eel was on it and that got all twisted up and all around the feeder and just made a right mess of the line so it was weak. So we just cut it and restart again with it. 
we're getting points on both rods at the moment, so pretty good. And we've got another one. Lovely jubbly. Certainly finding the food now. It's getting to the point where I'm getting a bite of cast now. I've got them feeling quite nicely. It's cool. Alright, let's get it back and get this rod back in the water. Cool. Especially a bite of cast. I'm going to go over there and reach right down and wash my hands every time because I'm getting covered in slime. But I'm definitely getting bites, so that's why I'm trying to struggle on with the light. But we've only got one bar of power left in the light, so it's not going to last too much longer. But hopefully we can get a couple more fish. Oh, so we're back in the car. I didn't see the point in carrying on too long because my main light was about to go out when I only had sort of probably 15 minutes left on it. And it was a bit of a pain to sort of share the fish and stuff. And to be honest, the real reason I went there was to sort of try the spot. Never been there before. Just wanted to learn the spot, find out where the fish were, see if they were close in, see if they were far out, etc. etc. What baits they'd take. And now we know we can do a really good proper session there with all the right lights, all my new lights and stuff will be here tomorrow so we have all the right lights, I'll make sure I've got a towel and everything with me power packs the whole lot and we'll, we'll do a proper night session so thanks for coming into this one, really appreciate it please leave a thumbs up etc and if you're new to the channel please subscribe if you like what you see and I'll see you all pretty soon in the next one thanks a lot